What's going on everyone? What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video and today I'm gonna cook something for you. Today we're gonna make city gum. It smells like city gum. It's really hot in here. And I'm sweating so I decided to not wear a shirt because it's hot in Wisconsin. So today I'm gonna make a Filipino dish which is called city gum. So if you don't know what city gum is, let me Google it for you guys. So, sinigang, according to Wikipedia, is a Filipino soup or stew characterized by its sour and savory taste, most often associated with tamarind, Filipino sampalok. It is one of the more popular variants in the Philippine cuisine and is related to the Malaysian dish singang. I didn't know that. Thanks for educating me, Wikipedia. It's very popular in the Philippines and it's one of my favorite Filipino dish. Growing up, perfect food for when it's raining or it's cold, but yeah, it's an all year round kind of food. Every Filipino loves sinigang as much as they love adobo. And the main ingredient for this is this pork belly. Pork belly. And you can actually use any kind of pork, but my mom always use uh, pork belly. If you don't have pork belly, you can use pork ribs or pork loin or, like I said, every part of the pig will work. Chinese spinach. We call this um, kong kong in the Philippines. This, like, look at that green, like that's long leaves, not so fresh anymore, yeah. If you don't uh, find this one, you can actually substitute this with uh, just spinach, the regular spinach. Also gonna be using these long beans, we call this sitao in the Philippines. And if you don't find long beans in your local Asian market, because you can't find this in, in an you know, American uh, supermarket, they don't have this. You can use the green beans or the string beans. Yeah. Any kind of beans, my favorite. And then we also need this okra, the slimy, sticky, gross for most people. Okra, we're gonna use this. It depends, like you know, how much you wanna use. Yum, yeah, this is yum. Get the white ones. When it cook, it actually has that sticky, slimy consistency. But if you don't have this, actually, it's okay if you don't have this. Tomato, I have one whole frozen tomato. Like. Look at that frost. Oh god, that is kind of satisfying. And one whole onion. Mine is not whole, it's just like three quarters. Green chili, green peppers. So if you don't like spicy, if you're not a spicy kind of person, you can skip this one. Of course we need this. This tamarind soup mix base so in the Philippines we actually have fresh tamarind that you can buy in the wet market and it's actually way better than using this mix and we also need a fish sauce so that's all the ingredients for us in for our sinigan these are the basic ingredients as your opinion wasn't in the recipe so keep your opinion to yourself Sinigang is actually not hard to prepare, it's very easy to prepare. Basically just putting everything in a pot with water. So without further ado, let's get started. First step is to put water in the pot and I use 10 cups of water for this. And then this is how I cut up the meat. Just put in the water and then put your one whole tomatoes and one whole onion and then Turn on the stove. Just cook it at a medium high heat. So basically, you just have to let it boil 30 minutes or so. You have to cover it, and then we will check it out later. You can do other house chores while you are waiting for your sinigan to cook, like playing a fidget spinner. Got 
probably gonna spin this for the next 30 minutes and I'll get back later. So after 10 years, our pork is almost done. So we're just gonna smash the onions and the tomatoes. Now we can add our yum. So this also may take a while to cook, probably like 10 minutes. So I'm gonna put the clover back again and then we'll wait for 10 more minutes. And now let's check if the yum is already tender. And it's already tender like you can tell because you can break it easily. Hammering in soup. So you can put everything or just half of it. Fish sauce because that adds like the umami taste in your sinigang. So now I can add my string beans and okra. Just gonna mix this up, cover it, and let it simmer for about five minutes, and then I'll come back. And now we can add our Chinese spinach or kang kong and then our chili and then we can turn the heat off temperature of the soup should be enough to cook the Chinese spinach and we will cover it and that's it it's done So it's verdict time. Let's taste this bad boy. It smells so good. ASMR. Oh god. Mm. Oh god. That is sour enough for me. Pork. Come on, pork. Huh. Tender. Let's try the okra. Mm. Yum. Good soup. It's really hot. Now it's now. String beans. So that's all for today, guys. I'm gonna finish this with rice. I have a rice cooking over there. If you wanna try this, make this. It's very easy all for today and don't forget to smash that like button share this video subscribe to my channel click that notification bell so you will get notified every time i put up a new video so i call it a night i'm hungry it's already 9 45 in the evening and i haven't had dinner yet so perfect i'll see you on the next one bye, -bye.